The Vendée region is rich in historic buildings like this two century old farmhouse, La Bourrie du Bois Juco. And the area has several great specialties. I like La Terrine Vendée and a tasty pork meatloaf. And the mojette, a variety of bean that is so delicious. And finally, Le Flan Maréchin, a custard set in pastry. Those dishes are as old as this building, but it is for its poultry that this region is famous all over France. This is La Ferme des Volailles du Vendéen. It is a poultry farm that specializes in duck, chicken, and guinea fowls in the open air to create the best possible conditions. There are plenty of shade for the poultry to be not too hot in summer. The poultry is fed with some natural food, including cereals like corn and wheat, and natural supplements based on plants. As well as that, during the night, they are housed without any light, so they can have a good night's sleep and they are not waken up to be fed. And the raising time is 140 days, which is a slow process that makes sure that the food, the meat, the poultry is of top quality. My next stop is at the Chaland Market. So it's mostly des, des poulets, des, uh, des poulets, des des canards, des canards, des lapins. Ah, d'accord, ouais. In the region of Vendée, live poultry market like this have been going on for hundreds of years. People breed a few chickens, they come to the market and sell them. Next to the live poultry section is the Caved Hall, the busiest part of the market. And here I meet again Laetitia and Frédéric from Les Volailles du Vendéen. So for me it is really interesting to know that the farmers come to the local market to sell the majority of their products. Everything is so fresh from the farm to the table. This old cuisine classic Ballot in the Canard is skillfully prepared by top French chef Philippe Mouchel. La ballotine de canard, c'est une entrée des plus nobles de la cuisine française, surtout avec du foie gras. Philippe has deboned a whole duck and placed it skin side down on several layers of plastic wrap. Next, he spreads it with a sophisticated duck force meat seasoned with cognac, madeira and spices and garnishes the center with a generous amount of goose liver. He then carefully but firmly rolls the duck to enclose the force meat in the center. He makes sure it's well wrapped with plastic and secures the ends with string. It is cooked by poaching at less than 80 degrees in a duck broth for about two hours. Once cold, it's sliced. It looks stunning. Philip serves it with a green salad, gherkins, pickled vegetables, and a small drizzle of olive oil. Une entrée magnifique à servir avec un verre de champagne ou un verre de sauterne servi bien frais. Tomorrow, we discover the local speciality of galette and charcuterie in this most charming region of Brittany.